and welcome to another video this time we will be reviewing the new cub cadet ultima zt1 zero turn mower this one has a steering wheel so this is actually called the zts1 because the s is for steering wheel and it's a 46 inch cutting deck now that's uh, plenty for my one acre property here. It's a great size to get the job done in a very quick amount of time. I'm gonna start off by going over some of the specs and then I'll show you how it operates. I'll give you first person perspective on that and uh, we'll go through you know, just the quality of cut that it does, ease of operation and some final thoughts at the end uh, of this review. Now this has Cub Cadet's Synchro Steer technology. What that means is compared to your standard zero turn mowers which operate via two lap bars, on that style mower, the power comes from the rear two wheels and steering is done by the rear two wheels. You push your lap bars here and there and steering uh, comes from the rear tires. So the front wheels actually don't steer anywhere. They just are there to balance the motor. The difference with the ZTS1 is that you have control over four wheels. And I'll show you very soon exactly how it operates, but basically you can now control the front two wheels. You can't do that on a lap bar mower. Power comes from the rear motor here, but you have the ability to control it at the front. So what does that mean realistically is that you're gonna have less marks, tire marks upon your lawn. Uh, if you have driven the lap bar zero turn mowers, you know that as you do certain turns, especially if it's wet or a little bit muggy, it's gonna dig out some big gouges in your grass, which is not nice at all. The beauty of this style of mower is that you have the ability to turn your front wheels and it causes less marks up on your grass. So that is a real great feature of this mower. Just having a look at the mower, it's yellow. It's made out of two by two tubular steel. I think the design is actually really nice. It's a bit of a beast compared to previous mowers that I've owned. I love the look, I love the design of it. It's great, it's not overly too large. It's perfect for a sort of a home residential type of yard. Uh, perfect for what I want to use it for. So let's go over some of the features of this mower. Okay, first of all, what you'll see up on the deck here is it's got these anti-vibration pads. When you sit in there and your feet are down like so, there's less vibration that comes through to your feet. It's got a very comfortable seat like this that has these side bars that go up and down, armrest I should call them. Yeah, you can leave them up. I would tend to leave them up, but they are there if you wanna be a little bit more comfortable. The seat has the option of sliding forward and back. And that is done by a little lever that's under here and I'll just show you how it goes forward and back. The little lever is right there. So that's nice and easy to go forward and back when you get into the cockpit. The seat at the back also can uh, lift up like this and you can, I don't know, take it off, wash it or whatever you may need to do. The mower features the Cub Cadet motor. This is a 679cc overhead valve V-twin motor. This has 22 horsepower. It's very powerful. My previous mower was 19 and a half horsepower. There is a distinct power difference in this one. Just to give you an idea of a bit of the setup here, it's very accessible. If you need to get to the air filter, there it is, boom, undo that, pull it out. It's got this sort of a foam on the outside inside paper filters. When you do need to change it, you know, when it's past its lifetime of use, you will need to buy a new one of these. Otherwise you can just use a compressor and clean it out from time to time. I love how this goes back on. Very, very easy. Boom. Over on this side, we have the oil intake right there. You have an oil gauge rear like so. Here is the actual oil filter right there. If you do need to do an oil filter change and you want to take your oil out, right here we have the drain valve. Nice and easy. I like that setup. Everything's accessible. Uh, it's great. If we open up the seat like this by pushing it forward, it stays in place. 
we have the battery cell which is right there nice and accessible very easy to get to i love that this here is the fuel tank it's 13.2 liters put in fuel right there okay in it goes and you use unleaded petrol once the sig is also up you'll notice it's got these let's just call them uh, rubber vibration absorbers when the seat is down and you're riding on there this provides a bit of suspension and a bit of comfort to your ride the front tires here are a 13 inch tire when we move to the rear this is a 20 inch tire great tread it's not going to rip up your grass and turf it's going to leave it looking good after you use it now let's talk about the deck the deck on this is a 46 inch fabricated deck this is 11 gauge steel so if you translate that to millimeters that's 2.9 millimeter thickness steel that's pretty beefy uh, on a lot of other standard cheaper mowers you have a pressed deck uh, that is significantly lighter gauge steel this deck this is strong as it's very nice and thick you can feel the difference in quality uh, compared to a press deck so yeah a fabricated steel deck awesome stuff this mower also comes with two led lights they are on whenever the mower is turned on so if you are cutting a little bit later in the afternoon and uh, you know the sun goes down a bit faster than you expect it does provide a bit of light up on the front they're not full-on massive floodlights but they will help you to see so that you can finish your job and get back to your house for storage now we opted to go for a dual catcher setup on this mower we wanted to sort of pick up all the grass clippings and leaves we have a lot of trees on our property and so we wanted to be able to collect that as well it's a bit of a beefy unit but we're very happy that we actually got this now the way it works is it attaches to the side of your fabricated deck it's very easy to put on basically it's this one knob that you undo the bolt from and you are able to detach it if you can see how it works once you undo the knob then this pulls out and the whole thing simply detaches it's very easy to put on and off this also detaches from this whole kit i won't show it on this video if you want me to show that on another video how this whole catcher kit works how you pull it apart let me know in the comments section and i'll do a separate video on that so with a dual catcher setup when you do need to empty it the way you go about it is there's like this little press point on the plastic here it goes like this there we go and then this undoes over here and it lifts up it's not the easiest to just open and close but probably for good measure you don't want this thing opening up while you're mowing and then all of the clippings fly all around this basically just comes on and off like via slides it's pretty cool and when you empty it out put it back in you close it like this you press this down this is the part that's a little bit tricky but it went easy there and then you put it over this hook like that okay that's the dual catcher setup now the catcher here at the rear sits on the rear tube like this it goes over and it connects to a tow connection kit on the bottom the beauty here is if you do get a trailer uh, for your mower it's got the tow connection kit right here and basically the trailer you'll put there and you'll whack a bolt through and you're good to go now this is a two blade cutting deck so underneath okay it's got two blades they do a great job they're tough as you know it's not a triple blade it's only two blades you need to worry about now let's talk about the dimensions of this particular mower first of all let's start off with the entire width how wide is this going to be because this is what i would want to know if i'm putting this onto my trailer so basically it's 1.4 meters wide and i would allow 1.5 meters if you have this additional lawn clipping catcher setup so my setup right here 1.5 meters wide let's talk about how long 
this is. All right, right at the very front of the wheels. Without the catcher up on the rear, this measures 2,050 millimeters long. If you put on the catcher, this measures 25.50. So 2.55 meters long with the catcher set up on the rear. The overall weight of this mower on its own without the catcher is 362 kilograms. Now Cub Cadet gives this a three year full warranty for domestic use. So I'm pretty happy with that. This mower was on special. The mower was just shy of $8,000, so $7,999, something like that. The catcher itself was $1,300. It's by no means a cheap mower, but uh, very happy with what we got. We did a lot of homework, did a lot of looking around in its price range. And for a mower that's got a steering wheel, which is what I wanted to get in this instance, very happy that we went with the Cub Cadet. The speed of this mower, it's not the fastest mower around. This goes 11 kilometers per hour. It's by no means a go-kart racer mower. <laughs> uh, the previous mower that I had actually went probably about 15, 16 kilometers an hour, and it was fine, but the cut wasn't really that great. This is 11 kilometers an hour, certainly fast enough for what I need to use it for. If you're going in reverse, it's 5.6 kilometers speed going in reverse. So let's jump on board and I'll show you some of the features on this mower right here. So the very first thing to be aware of is when you jump in, you wanna adjust your seat. Remembering there's a little lever here and you can go forward and backwards as you need to. The next thing is the steering wheel has an adjustment lever on it. You can pull it down or up and there is a little knob right there. It's like a little lever. You lift it up and there is a gas lift strut there that pushes it up. So that's great. We push it up and then we can go right down. I'm certainly not going to be driving this like this. Get it to your desired height. That's great and you are good to go. The next thing to be aware of is raising and lowering of the cutting deck. The way it's done is through this foot lever. So you're gonna be pressing it and going up and down, see that? Now right here is your depth or your cutting height adjuster. You press a little bit forward, now you can adjust the cut and it's got eight different cut settings on here and it's got numbers there just to help you remember which one you're going for. It goes all the way up to 4.5. 4.5 is the highest. You'll notice the deck stays put there. When we go down to number one, it goes all the way down. So I really like that. That's a great feature. We're not yanking up and down on a hand lever. We're simply doing it by foot. The next feature here, and it's a safety feature, is this is the whole handbrake system, but it's got something else here built in too. I'll show you in a moment. First of all, this is the handbrake on position. To pull it off, you simply push it out like this, goes forward and goes like that. The handbrake is off. That took me a little bit of getting used to. I'm used to a big whole lever system, okay? But this is nice and easy like that. If you have to move your mower without the mower being turned on, it's normally the transmission gears are engaged and you have to go to the back of the mower and release some pins. That releases a transmission. It's like a bypass and you can push your mower wherever you need to go without turning it on. Now, the way it's done on this, and I absolutely love this feature, it's a little bit different and it's very, very easy. The way it is, is like this. You first put your handbrake off. Next, you've got this little lever here. And what we're gonna do, we bring it back and push it to the right. Now, the handbrake is off and the transmission is disengaged, it's bypassed. So check it out. Now, with it like that, I am able literally to move the mower forward, pull it back. That's great, mate. I mean, I'm not yanking out those little transmission bypass pins all the way at the back and that's how they are on a lot of other mowers. Here, it's all up right here in the cockpit. To disengage that and put the uh, gears back into where they're meant to go, 
we lift that backwards, bring it forward, and then we put our handbrake back on, done deal. I love that feature. The other thing you have to get used to here, being a steering wheel mower, is we don't have lap bars, which usually makes you go forward and back here. It's all operated with the foot pedal. So we're simply gonna be going forward like that to go reverse like that. If you forget, there's a picture right there, what to do. So let's check out this whole console area. You'll notice there's a choke when you need to start it, cold start it. There's a rabbit and a turtle symbol. That's the uh, speed or the idling speed of the motor, slow and fast. I'll demonstrate that soon. You've got some cup holders and it's pretty good, it's decent. Uh, my previous cup holder on my other mower was so shallow, you put a can of whatever in there and it falls out. This goes in, it'll stay in. There's a little pocket there if you want to put your phone or something. It's great, mate. The key looks like this. Okay, you only get one key with the mower, so don't lose it. You have here the PTO, the power to operate uh, for your blades, and you have a LCD screen. Let me just show that to you. As soon as you turn it on, the battery level, 12.4 volts, and the hours of use, 2.2 hours of use so far. That's all the information you're gonna get on this mower. One more thing to be aware of, down here, you are going to notice what's called a multi-tool. So basically, the way this works is, this is where it's stored, which is very, very handy. The multi-tool has three main functions with the mower. The first main function is you're going to be able to undo this uh, top deck cover with the bolt with this. The second thing that you can do is if you have to lower your deck here and then lock it down into place, well, there is a spot right there, okay? When it's fully lowered, this hole will marry in with this hole and it will stay put and it will lock your cutting deck components in its lowest position if you need to get down and do some belt work or something like that. And the third function of this multi-tool is basically it uh, undoes all the other bolts as you need to. Okay, well not that one, <laughs> that one. Um, lots of other bolts around the place that this multi-tool will fit. Now let me just show you what's underneath your feet if you have to access you know, the belt or something here. And I'll just show you the Synchro Steer technology. It's a little bit easier to sort of understand how the steering wheel works. This simply lifts up and out like this. You can access your belt up here if you need to make adjustments. There is a reminder here how the belt is to be oriented if you take it off and you have to put it back on. Now right here is the secret to their steering wheel, okay? As I'm gonna turn the wheel, the wheels will turn, but this is what transfers the steering and the power to the motor at the back and how much power it's meant to be bringing forward to turn it where it's meant to go. Check it out. I'm turning it left and that opens up. Okay, I turn it to the right So I hope that just gives you an idea when you're turning the wheels left and right, that's how it operates. Now once you put the cover plate back, you put your multi-tool back, and I love it how it's got a spot right there, you can't lose it, that's a great idea. I'll just run through the last couple of safety features, then we're actually going to turn it on. Most mowers have a safety feature where if the mower is turned on, and you jump off the seat, if you don't put it into park, the mower cuts out. The same thing applies to this. So let's demonstrate turning this mower on. If it's cold, we're going to be pulling the choke out like that, and we're gonna go all the way to the on position right here. We push the choke down. Putting it into a low idling speed. It's nice, sounds great. You can talk to someone. When you're ready to go, you turn it back up to fast speed.
Now I'll just show you a safety feature. When you have the key turned into this position here and you turn your blades on, you can only go forward. The moment you try going in reverse, the blades will cut out. Let me demonstrate. So I went into reverse, while the key is in this position, the blades cut out. That's a safety feature. Let me show you how to overcome that because you definitely want to be able to reverse whilst mowing. For that to take place, the key needs to be in this position, like this. We then press this button. This light turns on. Basically now, when you turn the blades on, you can go forward and reverse. You've made a conscious decision to have that capability enabled. So if you run over any child or anything going reverse, that's on you. Check it out. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what this mower is like, its specifications, some of its features. We're gonna now go on a bit of a test drive and you'll get to see it firsthand how it operates. So just in this last part of the video, I'm going to show you what it's like to actually drive this mower around and I'll show it to you first person and some third person perspective shots. So a steering wheel on a zero turn mower, I gotta tell you, I love it. Compared to my lap bar mower, this is great. I'm driving around with one hand here, you just cannot do that on a lap bar mower. The motor is extremely powerful as I mentioned earlier. The tight turns this mower can do, being a zero turn mower, it's fantastic. I, I would never go back to just a regular style mower, it's always got to be zero turn. I've got a lot of things to navigate around in my property and this just makes life so much more easier. Yeah, just check it out. Turning on the dime, that's what these things can do, they're amazing. Just check out the tight turn that this mower can do. Yeah, fantastic, just misses that tap there. Yeah, it's, it's something else. Another thing that this mower can do is ride up to 20 degree angle inclines. Now, I don't have any steep hills on my property, but that's what this particular mower can do very well. If you go to 20 degree angle property, this can do it very, very easily. So when you do want to empty the catcher, of the clippings that you've just caught. This is what it might look like. It chucks it over here first of all. When that fills up, this tends to fill up as well shortly thereafter. This has some handles on the bottom as you can see, just makes it a bit easier to empty out. good to go again so last few moments of showing you some more final shots here and as you can probably tell I am very very happy with this Cub Cadet mower 
it does the job just fine for me. It goes around all of these crazy cocos palm trees, which are major pests that I have, but it uh, goes around no problems, and I absolutely love it. So I'll just show you one final shot of me parking it into a very, very tight corner, just to show you the capability of not just this particular mower, but zero turns in general. But even with the big bag on the back of this mower, you can see I'm getting right into this really tight space uh, with no real problems. Just a couple of uh, a couple of turns back and forth. But you can see just how the steering wheel function works just so well. So much better than the lap bar mower. Uh, look, look, was no problems getting into this real tiny pokey hole where I was parking it. All right, there you have it. That's the review of Cub Cadet's new Ultima ZTS-1 46 inch cut zero turn steering wheel mower. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have any questions that uh, I did not cover in this video, by all means, drop it into the comments area and I'll endeavor to get back to you ASAP. If you want a better sort of video or review of how the catcher works, how to put it on and off. Let me know as well, and I may make one as well just to help you out. Thank you very much for watching the video. As always, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.